Hello everyone, welcome to another book review video and I hope you all are doing fine. In this video, I am going to review Gajar Gochar by Vivek Sanbag. This is a short novella which is translated from Kannad to English. It's a contemporary Indian literary fiction, psychological drama of changes in family dynamics after becoming rich. This review is going to be spoiler free and there's a separate section at the end of this video about the ending of this book which can contain spoilers. So I'll let you know before that section so you don't get any spoilers. This this book is a bit hard to review. This is an open end book where we are left to imagine what could have happened on our own. The title of the book is very interesting and the book has been on my mind since months because of the title and finally I read it. Ghachar Ghachar is a nonsensical phrase which means tangled beyond repair. So before moving to review, I am going to give you plot of the book so you know what I am talking about. When narrator's father loses his job, his uncle decides to start his own business of Sona Masala which is Indian spices. They move from a cramped and infested house to a bigger and larger house in Bangalore. They try to adjust to their new life but not everything in life goes in their favor. So the story is about the journey of a family from rags to riches and how some of their family dynamics changes while some things doesn't change. The story is very unique and is a page turner. The writing is easy to understand and the translation is also done very well. This is around 120 pages and you will not even realize when the book is finished. The narrative is unnamed and it begins and ends with the narrator in a coffee house. He tells his story while sitting in the coffee house when he sees an incident there. The starting 2-3 chapters are not that interesting and a bit boring because it's just about introduction to his life and his family. But after that you won't be able to put this book down. It also had some things that as an Indian I can relate to and was fun to read and it did make me smile. The story is simple but explored deep themes of family relationship and how money changes family dynamics. The story also shows patriarchy how he and his sister were raised differently. This was a 3.5 star read for me. The starting 30 pages were a bit difficult for me to read personally. The ending is where we are left to imagine that on our own. About which I don't have much to say about because anything can happen and there were no major clear hints about what could have been the ending of this book. I think the narrator himself was in the doubt in the end that's why we are also in doubt. If you're looking for a short story to read which is set in India then you should definitely check this book out. Overall this novella is very unique and interesting. If you have read this book or have any book suggestions then do share them in the comment section and this is my book blog and Instagram. Do check them out. I'll also give link in the description. Now I'm going to talk about the ending of the book so if you don't want spoilers then you can stop watching this video. I think the narrator himself was in doubt in the end. After seeing that couple's argument he starts telling his story because he also had an argument with his wife. He's kind of confused who is right, his wife or his mother. Kind of typical Indian joint family thing where the man is confused about how to handle those situations. Well, I do think that his mother was too rude to that woman. He shares about his family's journey, then his wife enters who has different views and she is a feminist who believes in equality and to treat everyone with respect. After seeing that couple, he thinks that if his wife is going to leave him or not because they had an argument and he also mentions that his wife was not looking at him when she was in the train. Well, we still don't know if she'll come back or not and the narrator himself is in doubt. So I think that's the reason why we as a reader are also in doubt because we are reading the narrator's perspective and he himself is confused and in doubt. And do share what you think in the comment section and because I love to know what you think about the ending and this book. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. And